I thought it would be fun for us to make an arrangement today using some flower foam, but we're going to make kind of like a little spring diorama in this beautiful pot. I was telling you about the people who make this beautiful purple uh, watering can back here, uh, Arcadia Garden Products, ArcadiaGardenProducts.com. You can go see their catalogs online. They have they have fairy gardens, they have terrariums, they have uh, this cute little lantern back here. We're going to use it to make a terrarium in another show in another time. Um, but um, today we're using one of their PSW pots and I'm enthralled with these pots. I think that they're amazing. There are so many different colors and so many different sizes, but we're going to use this one today. And um, PSW stands for plastic, stone, and wood. They're all recycled, 100% uh, post-consumer recycled products. Okay. So that's really cool. And they are a very, very durable material had a sticker in the bottom so i'm taking a sticker out so you can see the bottom like this okay and what i wanted to show you is that there's it's it's watertight so they make urns and stuff like that so it's great for weddings and special events things like that but then they're also great for planting because you can use a drill and drill holes in this to make this planter a planter for outside and i may do that this spring okay but for right now i can use it as a watertight container for my flowers now the other thing that's really interesting about this you can use any drill bit i have some concrete containers out there in the backyard that I had to go get a special concrete drill bit to drill holes in the bottom, not with a PSW product from Arcadia Garden Products, okay? You can use any drill bit and it'll go right through it. And that's wonderful. It also is such a durable material, it will not crack or break, okay? And so these are winter proof. So you could leave them outside with your dirt and soil in them and they're not gonna break over the winter too. That's a huge benefit to people like, like me here in Michigan. But all of that is on this little tag that's inside there. See a little drill thing, any drill that works, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to create um, kind of like a dish garden today, except that we're going to be doing it with flowers rather than with plants. Okay. And so we'll make it, we're going to, and we're going to just do some really little fun things with it. Okay. And so maybe even at the end of it, I'll bring the camera up and we'll go in close on it. How about that? Does that sound like a good plan? I think it's great. Okay. So we are going to start with a piece of the Oasis Midnight Foam, which is this guy right here. I have soaked it in my Chrysler Professional 3 water. Okay. Here's my Chrysler Professional 3 down inside there. And I soaked it inside there. I have my foam knife. Everybody asks about my foam knife. And I am sorry to tell you that I don't believe the foam knife is still being made. It was developed by my friend Johnny Childers, who was an amazing guy. And he designed this knife to uh, cut through foam because it's exactly the same size as the foam. And it's just really easy to work with. And so when you're working with it, it's just like a nice blade. I know that a lot of people have carving knives and things like that the really cool thing about this knife is that it um it isn't sharp okay it, i mean it's sharp but it's not going to cut me okay it's not like a cutting knife it uh, for cutting stems it's for cutting foam all right and so that works really really well so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and let's cut this little flange on the side. But I think, and this is what I would tell you, I think there are wholesale houses across the U.S. that have these probably in stock and that they probably have that had them for many years. And so um, it is, you might be able to find them at wholesale houses across the country who probably still have them there. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to carve through here and take off that edge because I want to make sure that it tucks down in there. I want it to be I want it to be flush with the surface here. Okay, I want it to be flush, and so then I'm going to push this down again, and I'm going to cut along there. Okay, now I'm not filling in everything because I want to be able to add water, okay? I want there to be water inside here because I'm going to have my living flowers inside here, and so I want to make sure that it's all okay. And so I'm just kind of trimming that down to make sure. And so now I've got room here and here and here and here for water, 
So see if I tip it up towards you, see what that looks like. See, I've got the four corners, one, two, three, four, to add water to when I'm finished. And that's a great place for me to check inside there. All right, and so um, it took one block of foam. That was really simple and easy, all taken care of. It makes a little bit of a mess when it's all pre-soaked, but it's always important to soak it first. Don't cut it, you could cut it and put it in here and then take it out and soak it and then put it back in, that's fine. But I wouldn't put it in here dry and then try and soak it. That's not gonna be in your best interest. Okay, it's not gonna work well for you. And so then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put our different things in here. I love how this color, this is called charcoal on the PSW, um, PSW pot that we're using right here is the same color as that foam. Okay, so it's going to all blend together. It's going to look great. It's going to be awesome. I just love that. I think that's wonderful. Okay, it's pretty fun. All right, and so now I had an idea. So I picked up this umbrella foliage, but the interesting thing about it is, you know what? I think it was there a while because it's a little bit dry. And look at, but it's kind of forming a little nest. Isn't that interesting how it's kind of curling up and forming a little nest? And so I think I'm going to use it as one stem. So I've cut it pointedly. I'm going to stick it in here. And then also what that's going to help me remember is right underneath there's a place for me to add water. But I think this guy's going to dry and curl up and get really, look almost like a bird's nest. Won't that be fun? So a little bit of, uh, you know, making a little lemonade from my lemons. Okay. That um, it maybe wasn't the uh, freshest. Maybe it had been there for a while. And, you know, it's hard to tell with these sometimes, but, you know, I think that that's going to be, and make a little pretty little nest area. Pretty fun. All right. So then on the other side, I'm going to use my fatsia leaves, and I want to use two of them. Oh, look, I have a nice little small one, and there we go. A medium size and a small, okay? Medium and small, okay? And so what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this guy, and also I'm going to put him on the opposite side, and again, right underneath there is a place for me to add water. So I'm going to be able to pull this up and add water in there too. So I've given myself two opportunities there to have water. Now there, we've got them layered over the top of each other. That's pretty fun. All right. So that kind of starts it here for us. Now, I want to add some pebbles to this. And I'm going to add those right now so that I get an idea. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my foam knife again and I'm going to cut at an angle over here and I'm going to cut at an angle over here. And that's going to allow me to take a piece out of here. And this is how we would create a pave. Um, if we wanted to countersink, maybe like um, some uh, Kermit pom-poms or some roses down inside there. But what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit of this fun stone. And I want a little puddle over here on the side too. So I'm carving away just a little bit more so that I'll have a nice little puddle down inside there. You'll be able to see this too when we do the, we do a close up at the end. Oh, they're going everywhere. That's great. You know, they're little fun um, rocks. But there, now I have that little area right inside there that I've got all those little rocks in. And so speaking of a pave, there, can you see? A little bit of rock is down inside there. You know what? I think since we're working up close, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. How about that? What do you think about that? I think that might be really good because I think we're gonna have some detail stuff going on inside here that could be very interesting for you to see. So I'm gonna come out here, bear with me, hang on, here we go. This is gonna be fun, I promise. 
There we are. Don't get seasick. And then let's look at that. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to scoot it just a little bit closer to you, too. Okay. So now you can see, see how we've got our little pebbles down inside there? And then we have our cool little nest right there. Look at how that looks like a nest. Fun. And then over here, I'm going to use a couple other little stones. I've got some river stones here. Oh, look, and I have a color. I have, a, I have a, another rock, too. Okay. Now I'm just going to add those rocks right there. And I'm also going to put that white one there. See, now look at that. Isn't that fun? So now these are the other little darker rocks over here. And then we've got the bigger stone right there. There's another rock like this. We might stick him right there. There. Maybe. No, I don't like it. Okay. All right. So we talked about paves. And let's do a pave right along the edge of those rocks using our mint colored pom poms. Okay. So what we're doing is we're liming the edge of those stones with these pom pom buds. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to grab three more. Because I don't like the non-uniformity of them. I want them to be more uniform and more the same shape and size. And so I'm going to use the bigger one back there. I think it's better when they're all the same size. One more right there. Okay, see? Now look at that. Can you see how that goes through there? Look at it. It goes from one side to the other. Isn't that pretty? Fun. Fun, 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 fun. All right. Now, you know, I'm a little tempted to do a secondary pave along that side. That would draw a little bit more attention there. What do you think? I'm trying to make my decisions as I go along. I mean, you know, this is kind of like, you know, it's almost like building a little fairy garden or something. It's kind of like, you know, what are these different things going to do and what's going to happen in different places? And so I'm going to use these pretty lavender carnations. And what we're going to do is I want to come out a little bit. Now I'm going to switch this guy's position a little bit. I don't want to go back in the same hole. Because I feel like he's... There we go. Better. Okay. Eh, no, not better. Okay. I'm going to find the perfect spot for that guy. There. That's better. Okay, so now we've got those purple 
carnations coming out towards me this direction. Now let's use a couple of iris because iris are strong linear flowers too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one that is not completely open yet. We are going to use him right there. We're going to use another one that's a little more open. We're going to use another one that's a little more open. And we're going to use one that's really going to be open soon. Right there. Okay. Now what I may do, I'm hoping that those guys curl in there. Oh, see, that's what I can do. That's perfect. Okay. Now, if I wanted to extend that, I think to give it just a little bit more balance, I'm going to go one more back here. Okay, I love that. Because now I've got that balance that follows this guy on this side over here. Right? And then down through the center in here, I want something exciting that's going to happen. I, you know what? I need something that's going to be a great little underneath this area right here. I want like a little surprise. And that will be perfect right? One of those Clooney ranunculus. It's going to be just perfect as a surprise underneath. It's like almost like a little frog or something hiding underneath there. Look at him. Hi. There I am. I'm hiding. He's right down there. Okay. There we go. Now, I think maybe a little bit of pink hypericum okay pink hypericum and what we're going to do is we're going to use these pieces individually and what i want to do is i want to create a little area right down inside there where we almost have a cluster of these little berries almost like it's a little bush growing down inside there. Now, you know what? You can't see what I'm doing, can you? There you go. Look at how I've got a little bush of those guys going down inside there. And we just got to make sure that you can see what I'm doing when we're doing that. Now, I love that. Oh, that's just really nice down in there. Because it fills the most iris. And you know, the thing I'm also loving though is this midnight foam because look at even when you can see down in there, it just simply looks like a little shadow. Right? It's kind of like a little shadow. There we go. Look at that little, it's just like a little center focal area down inside there. Now I've got a little bit of foam here on this side over here and i think that that is going to be a perfect place for a hyacinth okay again i want to use this hyacinth as a little bit of a surprise and i'm gonna cut it here And hyacinth are really challenging to put into foam because you have to inch them down into place, holding on to them the whole time. And you just grab the stem. And I'm just trying to see if I can get these guys in here. But I think the best way for me to do it, I don't know. Cutting it on a point, maybe. I'm going to keep cutting it a little bit shorter and I'm going to keep going into a different spot to kind of hold it in there. Okay. See that little hyacinth in there? That's pretty fun. Okay. 
Now I'm going to grab a few. Now I have a couple choices. Hmm. I could be a little bit distracting and use some yellow roses down inside there. I think that's what I'm going to do because I want to, it to be a little bit distracting. I want to create a little yellow accent that shows through to the other side and makes you want to come around the other side of the arrangement. You can't see. Hang on. See that? Look at that little collection of those yellow ones right there. I can see it from this side, kind of right through there. See that? I can see right through there, and I can start to see them back inside there. And so then we've got those little guys back in there. I like those. And that little hyacinth above it, because that little hyacinth is going to be a special little treat, too. Now I'm debating. I think I'm going to tighten these guys up just a little bit. So that the, so those lavender carnations are a little bit more centered there. And I want to add something down inside here so that, that it's interesting down inside there. I don't want it to distract too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my green hypericum so that I can go down into the center, go right into the foam below it. Ah, there we go. And one more time. I want to make sure that I'm getting into the foam. Oh, there we go, into the foam. So that when I spin that around, look at I've got that in the center of it now. That's much more interesting. And I think that that's fun. So now I think we're complete. Look at that. And you can see down inside there, we've got that little trail of rocks through the center. We could put, you know, a little figurine down in there if we wanted to, or we could just let it be decorative. I think that that's fun this way. And we've got our little pave of yellow, of, of yellow roses on that side and our pave of green that follows all the way through. This little pave of green comes all the way through the arrangement. And I think as this guy dries, he's going to close up even more. So I think that that'll be even more fun. Okay. Should I back it up? I'm going to back it up for you a little bit so you can kind of see this all in one spot. Okay. Does that look good? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, good. So see what we've got here? This is really fun. We could set it on a dining room table. We could set it somewhere where it would be interesting, where people can look around and see around with it. I need to pull him down just a little bit more. You're a little bit too tall. There. Okay. We've got our fun little arrangement. All right. Fun. That's a fun way to use foam. I love that. That's one of the things that I love about foam because we can strategically place things exactly where we want them. And that's the coolest part about it is that it lets us put things exactly where we want them. We can do those paves. We can carve away pieces of it. And then we're able to add water. And remember, too, now that we can add water underneath our special areas, too. And we can go in there with our watering can and we're just going to be able to go in and add water where needed underneath our fat seal leaf or underneath our nest on the front. That's where those two places are for us to add water on a daily basis. Come on, check it every day. Check it every day. Um, of course, obviously, we're going to do Chrysler Professional Glory and that's going to make things last longer. Our little umbrella foliage is going to dry probably. And so now we've got that all like that. So it's perfect. Okay. Fun little way to look at that. So I hope you had a good time, right? I was got a merry-go-round, right? But I hope you had a good time. 
I hope uh, you'll try something fun like this. Send me pictures. I want to see pictures of what you make. Email them to j at ubloom.com. Um, also, make sure that you're watching here on YouTube. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And then also ring the bell. Um, if you ring the bell, that means that you're going to get a notice every time we do a premiere. And I chat with you on that side. <laughs> right over there, there's a chat. And so when they premiere, we'll do it that way. All right. Have a great day. Keep having fun with flowers.